How's the gang and fellow Sam? I'm Otosh and this is another episode of Gameplay and Such and in today's episode we're playing Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, a Wonderland's one-shot demo. Adventure. Some shit like that. I don't know, this is a standalone version of Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep DLC to Borderlands 2, which I actually done a full-on Let's Play of if you want to watch that. I was playing as Gage the Necromancer. But this also serves as a teaser for what the Wonder One Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is gonna be like, which is coming out soon. There's actually been quite a lot of footage of it released online recently, and it looks really good, and I'm really can't wait for it. And this came out in November, but it's now been a February free to play. I mean, it's been for free on PlayStation Plus. So yeah, as you can see, it's up. It's an entirely new game. It's look. It has a new hub world, it's basically just Tiny Tina's Wonderlands as a standalone adventure. So and from what I know, to hear a story, huh? it actually comes with Come. some new stuff. There's like a new chest you, you can unlock, you there's like a catapult know. that gives you items. On a planet called there might be new items, I'm not sure, I don't think there are. Called Vault Hunters scoured the Borderlands in search of treasure and power. But they weren't the only ones. Handsome Jack, CEO of Hyperion Corporation, wanted the vault and its secrets for himself. He and his robotic that's new. That's... legions held the planet in I don't think that's the intro grip. for the DLC. The leader of the Vault Hunters was a brave man named Roland. He rallied an army of friends and warriors to fight Jack's tyranny. Closest to him was Tina, oh, a young that. orphaned explosive side expert. quest. She's symbol. a little uh, <laughs> look, she's completely banana sandwich, bonkers, crazy. Ah, uh, there was a game's a bit there loud. Was Brick, who only thinks with his fists. Mordecai, a sniper who lost his beloved Bloodwing at the hands of Jack. Tor, more explosion than men. Ellie, a master mechanic. And finally, Lily, a siren gifted with incredible powers. However, she was not the only siren. Jack's daughter, Angel, Is this really a used recap her powers of Borland's to manipulate Tuna? and betray the Vault Hunters. Though she turned on her father in the really end, loud. the damage Christ. was done. Jack was defeated, but at a heavy cost. Roland didn't live to see the victory his friends had earned. Sometimes a hero's reward is little more than a gunshot to the back at the hands of a coward. The ones Roland left behind still had much to do. People point out how Roland one died from one shot in the chest while everybody, you know, had shields in the For a story. Of her own. Which I think they actually tried to explain in the pre-sequel, pre because I believe Handsome Jack's doppelganger Once has a skill. The time, the Vault Hunters play the game. Now that's the intro from the, uh... The world is on the brink of going boom boom. From the DLC. This is our most Alright, this one, can I skip it? I can't. Unless Fuck. we make a stand here and now... I can now, skip this shit. We gonna die. I was actually streaming, now. uh, Borderlands 2. Well, recently on Twitch, if you want to check that out, it link to my Twitch channel attack. is in... I punched the initiative. What's going on? It's in, in my it. channel description, if you want to check know, that out. Start over? And... Um, welcome, fine I was Your actually about to go through this DLC, except in the actual base game of Borderlands 2. Master, but now I feel like I will, I will go through it twice. Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Once... Tina? You know, and actually Borderlands She's 2 right, and then once in this. Well, our vault hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs. I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Necromancer, the Commando, the Siren. Siren. Dibs. Who made My characters Siren's out of the real characters in and she this universe? Is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Roland's dead, though. Nobody told her. That's Tina, kind of a Roland's... Dick move. You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said, roll for initiative, suck up! When this 
when Borderlands 3 came out, everybody was saying like, oh, we should get Tiny Tina's Assault and Dragon Keep 2. We never did. But we did got a standalone fucking game. Alright, in my original Borderlands 2 playthrough, I played as Gage. That's why I don't really want to play as her now. We already played as her enough. And some of the bonus episodes I played as Commando, so I think I'm gonna pick Krieg. Because Krieg is very interesting. And I, it seems like I already got all the hats. Wait, what? I can't spin him around, I don't, I don't know what the fuck is the difference between these two. It's like his head is slightly lower now? Oh, it's like his head fell off, okay. Some of these masks I actually didn't have in the base game. I wanna see them. Ooh, this one's cool as fuck, I love this one. This one I don't know what the fuck it's from. You know what, the one I used all the time when I played Krieg and Borderlands 2 is this one, I like this one a lot. Except I don't think they got this skip. what the hell's this one? This one's weird, i never seen this one. Do they have the one that I actually think goes really well with this skin? It's kind of like a black and yellow skin. It kind of looks like it's based on the Hornet. Oh, this one works too, but... It's not the one I was going for. I'm starting to think they don't have it. Now they don't. You know what? This one's kind of cool. No. Fuck it. Let's go with this one. Name. Ah, I don't fucking care. Actually, fuck it. Just confirm. Name's Krieg, what do you mean, what's my name? You Look guys, it's Borderlands 2. We're this playing this shit again. <laughs> so like I said, if you want to watch a full-on playthrough of this DLC... To well, I did make a let's play of it. Well, how does this work? I have no guns with me. In, in the let's play, I had like legendary guns with me and I had no trouble going through it. Also, hold on, because the options are all fucking wrong. Name is uh, blah blah blah, weapon toggle, crouch, fixed, iron, blah blah, that's not what I wanted. Sound effects, volume, music, just like. Alright, it stays like that. Brightness, blah blah blah, hard orientation, field of view, gimme gimme. And resume. It's always fun starting a new playthrough with Borderlands 2 and then having like white rarity guns with you. It's like they're fucking garbage. Yeah, I know how to play Borderlands, bro. Now they're gonna give me all these fucking. I have a shield now. Epic. Alright, I like how this game starts. Well, Flame Rock Refuge, a far cry from Wait, other... did you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would these be different? Lovely? Now they got this, like, uh, uh, bar around them. Night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Smells like home. That's what I like about this DLC. The main protagonists talk a little bit. Suddenly you're attacked by a they definitely fix that with... Start shooting at you. I, I can't shoot myself. Wait, what the fuck? Why would I aim with R L1? Are you fucking insane? What the actual fuck, man? Preset, are you fucking insane? The fuck? Activate skill with L2. Crouch with L2. The fuck, man? What is this garbage? Why is there so many fucking... Look, aim, alternative fire, fire weapon, with air one. Or R1, I don't know if how you pronounce that shit. Aim with R1. Why the fuck do none of these allow you... Oh, there we go, original, that's the one I fucking wanted. Why would that not be the default? The default was garbage. 
That's what I was saying that I kind of like at the beginning of your playthrough in this series. The fact that, you know, you kind of have to deal with shitty guns for a while before you get something actually worth using. And they kind of always sometimes prove that, you know, they're like good all reliable fucking white rarity guns. Also, apparently in this DLC, when you level up, you level up two, two levels each time. Or something like that. So you can... I was kind of hoping that maybe maybe you could transfer characters from this game to the base borderlands too, that'd be pretty cool. At this point, who cares about like actually achieving high levels in borderlands 2? Just allow me to fucking do it, why not? I don't think I got ammo for, for my guns. I ain't got other guns. What's this? Complete challenges to earn, I know how this works. Borderlands 2, guys. It's Borderlands 2 yet again. Maybe I should have not picked Krieg. Now I kind of feel like when I will... I just... Beat the shit out of him. I don't deal all that much melee damage, though. Look, I leveled up. I got my skill now. And I did get two skills. So it seems like I leveled up once, but I do get two skills per level up. Which one is the cool one? This is the fire one, which I'm not a big fan of. This is the one I like. This is the one that makes you into like a monster. Or you have like a giant fucking hand. I like how Krieg's skill trees are all based on like existing psycho enemies in this game. For example, his, this guilty I activated now is based on the badass psycho. Remember the badass psycho? He has like one big arm and the other one is like very small. That's what happens to him if you activate your skill. It's like when you're low at hell. But you gotta admit the fact that uh, it kinda sucks. Well, I won't do anything then. And then he kills you in one shot. Critical hit! This game is rigged. Hey, are we done now? Tina, oh, money. Uh, you can't start your campaign with money a boss fight. Money looks different now. It's crystals. Mm, Touche. Okay, everybody, back up. It's strangling time. I wanted to kill some. Okay. You no, know but I did play some D and D with my friends, boss. but it's kind of like I bought skeleton. a board game, and his name called is Dragons and Dungeons Mr. Adventure Begins, Bony or something like that. And that one is like more like an introduction to Dungeons and Dragons, you know? Does that work? This please. That's the bony pants guy. Well, I gotta beat the crap out of him now. Damn, I'm powerful. I was not expecting this skill to work this fucking well. I don't think it does that in the the base game where it works this fucking good. See, the money's different. Instead of collecting normal money like I do in Borderlands, I'm collecting crystals now. Which are just reskinned... What do you want me to do? I don't care. Which are just reskinned crystals from the base game because they, you can also collect crystals as money. But then it's kind of like the crystals just become normal, normal currency. It's like any other guns. I hate this fucking gun. It sucks. Both are fucking assault rifles. He could have at least given me like a shotgun. Fuck. No fucking assault rifle ammo. Come on. I'm going the wrong way. Yes. Stick around my Twitch channel. I can't promise you when I will do the live stream. It's just that I will. Because I kind of have a... Oh, shit. See, that's another thing. Suicide Psycho. Creek has a skill where he commits suicide. Upon death. And if he actually kills somebody with the explosion. Uh, he comes back to life. Which is really cool. I should really replay Borderlands 2 again. But like... With, with a new character this time. Because on my recent playthrough through it, I was kind of playing through it. Look, a golem. I was playing through it uh, with my gauge character, who's the same character that I used for my let's play of 
Borderlands 2. Can you give me some fucking ammo, please? I don't care about money, I want ammo. What's you give me so little of it, Jesus Christ. Before I fucking kill anybody, I'm gonna run out and miss half of the shot. And look, I'm out of ammo already. Skeletons ain't fuck this. Was this meme on Twitter I seen kind of pop out for like one day and then immediately disappeared? It was like the skeleton appears. Why did it just immediately went away? I like this meme a little bit. I like skeletons. Skeletons are cool. I love them. especially Lego skeletons. I don't know why, but I fucking love Lego skeletons. Look, the save icon looks different. Wonder if it's the same as it as it will look in Borderlands 3. Like, is it like a little teaser, like what the what the currency will be in Borderlands 3? Crystals? I think it's gold. Though it's not supposed to be crystals, so that's kind of weird. So yeah, you can kind of get an idea of what to expect from Legend Wonderlands. Town, you know, one the thing distance, that worries me about Wonderlands? Always alert in case of battles. The, probably the entire game's story will be narrated by Tiny Tina. Let's talk to some town folk. Not to mention that the game's <laughs> rating is teen. And it's not, uh, it's teen and not mature like most Borderlands games. So I'm starting to think this game will not be as dark, like won't have as much dark humor in it as Borderlands normally does. <coughs> On top of that, I kind of have a feeling that, uh, I see is... that, um, the story will be really dumb. Since we're gonna follow Tiny Tina all the time. Also, you know what? Something about what Krieg just said. All I see is red. Why do I care? It doesn't matter. I was about to finish this episode and once I reach this town anyway. I wasn't expecting to reach it this quick, but you know. We shall never see the sun again! Sounds like we should go find right, this element. small differences, like the currency is different. Why choose an honorable weapon when you could buy a gun? Uh, oh, but look, in the vending machines, the currency is still displayed as dollars. But then when I go into my equipment, it's displayed as dollars again, but then... Hold on, what the fuck? Now I feel like I... Oh, I didn't know this. This is here? Oh yeah, where's like uh, the... Crazy Earl who sells you like upgrades. He's gotta be somewhere here, right? What was I saying? Um, yeah, Krieg is like, in my opinion, one of the most fucking insane video game characters ever. Look, there's like a chest. I don't have keys for it, but uh, there's a chest here. Look, uh, there's gonna be money here. here. Oh, no, it's still displayed. Well, what the here. fuck were those crystals I collected? Oh, then was that iridium? That looks like she got a problem. I, put her I guess the Iridium is I replaced. In also look, Marcus is here. Marcus does not appear in the normal version of this. He doesn't appear. But some of the quests from the base game were, were ported and I guess some of the quests were from Marcus. So that's why Marcus is here even though he was not in the DLC originally. And we're tasked to talk to Ellie who has a new cool fucking outfit on. And I don't really care to do that so I think I'm just gonna finish this video here. Yep, I think that's what I'm gonna do, so see you fellas in the next episode, bye.